Alright, so this is for A Queen 2021. Let me close these out and I have this open. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. So let me see if I can move. I can't move this for some reason. So we're going to start out here with Raven. If you're wondering how to make characters walk in uh, Beyond, then you highlight. See how I have this walking expression on? You do a motion path. There are several for several of these motion paths, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to do a line. But then what you can do is move it anywhere you want. So I guess for the scene, you want to get it close to her. Okay. There are two options here for motion paths. There's auto fit, which means it's just going to go for this scene. And there's custom, which is different. We'll get to that another time. Also, if you want to, you can add this curve, and then you can use your cursor, and then just curve it a little bit. Do something like this. So, that, so when we preview, he should be walking. And now, whoops, I know what you're thinking. I think you're trying to make a video where he comes up and kisses her. So what we're going to do is add scene, continue. There is an expression here for kiss. Right here. We might have to move him in a little bit. There is going to be a little bit of a jerky animation. Just ignore that. No one's going to notice. Well, now pause. So what's going to happen... Is now you're gonna be shocked. Oh wait, nope, wrong scene, wrong scene. Right here, this scene. Shocked. And we can change the expression. Something like this. And now if we go into this audio tab, there should be a kiss sound effect. But wait, didn't play. Yeah, something like that. Let's move it to roughly where the animation, where he's going to reach over. Oh, it did not. Also, for the ending of the video, you want to make sure it doesn't fade out. So go to this gear tab, and then just click that slider and hit save. This is optional. You can add a heart right here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, some of these animations are completely delayed. Here. Here, let me go, let's go actually go back and fix this up so he's closer. Let's do that. And then we can do everything else from there. We can add the sleeping expression. Sorry if I'm going a little out of my way. And sorry if I took up some time. Something like that. And now we gotta find a kissing sound effect. Hold up. Right here, let's drag it accordingly. Let's see where it plays. Des, let's move it over one bit. Perfect. Hold up. Actually, let's try this. Angry? And then, let's see if this works first. If it doesn't, then we'll just revert back. And then, shocked. Let's see what happens here. Perfect! And then, for the scene where he gets knocked out. Let's go ahead and do, like, a knock out thing. Hold up. Let's start with a punch. Hold up, let's find a... Right here. And then shock. Where's the shock? Right here. And then... Perfect! But of course we can add a punching sound effect, because that's what we're going to want. 
it's punching. Find it. You're gonna have to adjust your timeline accordingly. Perfect. And then we can add a body fall after that. Cause I know that you're used to Plotagon, you're not used to all this advanced editing. Perfect. And now, don't worry, this raven is gonna stand where he is. And then we can make her, like, angry. And then to add audio, this is what you do to add audio. You go to the dialogue, add dialogue, text to speech, and then you can pick from these voices. For her, her voice is Kate. So we gotta find Kate. It's right here. And then... Something like this. Hold up. And then you can play through. Raven, how dare you kiss me? You know that I already have a boyfriend named one. That's it. I'm reporting you to Mrs. Ramirez. Now, as you know, the audio is a bit low, so we have to raise it for Neo speech. It's 200, but wait, it's normally 200, but for Neo speech voices like her, it's 250. And then right here, let's watch it from the beginning. So you have him walking, and then. Raven, how dare you kiss me? You know that I already have a boyfriend named Juan. That's it. I'm reporting you to Mrs. Ramirez. And then obviously you can have more than two people in a scene. Unlike Plotagon. So let's go ahead and let's just do this real quickly and then we're done. Yeah, I have several versions of Mrs. Ramirez in here. You can include that running. And then her voice is Kimberly, it's an Ivona voice, so that means we have to raise the audio to 300%. And like, something like this. Did someone say Mrs. Ramirez? And then... Somewhere right, right down here. One more time. Raven, how dare you kiss me? You know that I already have a boyfriend named Juan. That's it. I'm reporting you to Mrs. Ramirez. Did someone say Mrs. Ramirez? There. There you go. So that's basically the basics on how to do what you wanted to do here. And that's all I gotta say, so this is VPTM signing out.